We live in uh, a time of great complexity. And Peter says some problems are so complex that you have to be highly intelligent and well-informed just to be undecided about them, which I think is, uh, is true of many of the issues we deal with. So there were two concepts uh, that, that I, I like to link together. One is critical contemporary issues, and the other is the basic title of my talk, Complex Socio-Technical Systems. Here are some critical contemporary issues. They're supposed to represent challenges that we face uh, around the globe in terms of bettering uh, the human condition uh, uh, in, a, uh, in a sustainable way. Global climate change, of course, a critical issue. Issues surrounding energy and the environment. Uh, issues in developing countries, especially in the megacities of developing countries. And I'm sure that many of you could, uh, almost by inspection, see how several of these, if not many of these, relate to what we do in the field of transportation. Transportation is, in a, is extraordinarily important in developing the global economy, for example. But at the same time, it's uh, central to producing some issues that we have to face, climate change, resulting from, uh, from transportation activity, uh, energy and the environment. The transportation is really right in the mix as one thinks about these uh, critical contemporary issues. Lady Bird Johnson she had as her first lady theme the notion of uh, highway beautification, and she observed that everything was interlinked, and she characterizes it as a tangled skein of wool Everything's interwoven and relate uh, one to the other. Recreation, pollution, crime, war on poverty, everything leads to, to, to something else. And I think she had that uh, quite right. Let's pause this. And the notion is one of interconnection. Uh, the notion is one of uh, hierarchy, uh, the interaction of the system with the environment, uh, it, uh, external to it. And by socio-technical, uh, we're talking about systems that have technology subsystems and components that are fundamental to performance of the, of the function of the system, but at the same time having societal, political, economic relevance uh, as well. We often use the term emergent properties, that is, you put together a system and the way in which the system as a whole behaves is very difficult uh, uh, to, to predict. We have what I call evaluative complexity, and that basically means that you have a number of different stakeholders who are interested in the performance of a particular complex socio-technical system, but they may have very different views of what uh, a good performance from that system actually means. Nested complexity, uh, talks about the notion of the physical system, but it operates within a complex institutional sphere. So the physical system is complex, uh, and everything is made more difficult by a set of institutions that interact with each other with which you are purporting to control and manage the physical system at hand. You have people making so-called rational choices like driving instead of taking the T, they're making rational choices that affect the system that we're working on uh, and, in, in fact, affect the performance of that system. And the, the, the punchline, so to speak, is that we as technocrats may have a lot of difficulty making judgments about rationality. Somebody like me and many of you who see their domain as the field of transportation have to think about it in a more inclusive, integrative way. We have to train our minds not to think simply in terms of transportation and what's good for it, so to speak, but have to think about it in a broader sense, connecting with other complex socio-technical systems. And another set of methods that uh, are usually more qualitatively based, they very much leaven the use of the quantitative methods, and it's our job to integrate all of that together. Now we know that simply getting the best quantitative answer is often not going to be adequate to the task. One needs to look at a variety of other perspectives, the political science perspective, the management perspective. We want to 
uh, get beyond simply observing uh, and being able to predict performance, we need to make substantive changes to make the systems operate uh, uh, more effectively. Because they have behavioral complexity, because we can't always predict what will happen, uh, we have to be cautious and, if you will, humble as we go in to make those changes. Is there really a kernel of, uh, of information, of methods, of approaches that uh, is, is intellectually based? There are questions of social equity in what one does in transportation. If one advances the agenda in the transportation field uh, via certain technological changes, uh, are we doing it in such a way that is equitable across a, bo a broad swath of, uh, of the Mexico City population, uh, or are the plutocrats at the very top of the pinnacle gaining all the economic value from those from those investments, simply trying to optimize any, uh, any single component of the transportation system uh, will almost invariably lead to a suboptimal uh, overall, overall solution.